بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیئر سٹوڈنٹس ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس گرامیٹک انالیسز اٹ انکلوڈس آل ٹیکنیکس ان وچ وی میئر میس اور چینج ان میس دا آئیڈیل پروڈکٹ آف گرامیٹک انالیسز شوڈ بی ویری پیور ان سولوبل اینڈ ایزیلی فلٹر ایبل اینڈ اٹ شوڈ پوزیس اے نون کمپوزیشن سائز آف پریسٹیٹ شوڈ ناٹ بی سو اسمال دیٹ دے کلاگ آر پاس تھرو دا فلٹر and should not be so large that, so that impurities can attach on them. Crystallizations occur in two phases, nucleation and particle growth. During nucleation, molecules in solution come together randomly and form small aggregates. Nucleation proceeds faster in supersaturated solutions while slower in less supersaturated solutions. As a result, nuclei has a chance to grow larger. While particle growth, it requires the addition of more molecules to a nucleus to form a crystal. Common precipitating agents, for example, dimethyl glyoxine, structure of dimethyl glyoxine, ion precipitated with dimethyl oxide, nickel, flodium, platinum. Techniques that promote particle growth include rising the temperature to increase solubility and thereby decreases the supersaturations, adding precipitant and the precipitant a reagent that causes precipitation of a soluble species. To prevent a local highly supersaturated conditions, using a large volume of solution so the concentration of analyte and precipitants are low. Relative supersaturation, a measure of extent to which a solution or a localized region of solution contains more dissolved solutes than that expected at equilibrium. Here Q is solute's actual concentration, S is solute concentration at equilibrium and Q minus S is a measure of solute supersaturation when precipitation begins. Larger and positive value of RSS that is relative supersaturation means solution is supersaturated so high rate of nucleation while small then precipitation more likely occur by particle growth we can minimize by either decreasing the solute concentration or by increasing the precipitate solubility when precipitates are extremely insoluble and have much small solubilities that are large Relative supersaturation cannot be avoided. Homogeneous precipitation. The precipitate is generated slowly by chemical reaction. For example, urea decomposes in boiling white water. Urea decomposes in boiling water to produce hydroxyline, which increases the, the pH value. As a result, particle size of the precipitate increases. Common reagents used for homogeneous precipitation. Precipitant is hydroxyline, reagent urea, reaction and the some elements precipitated like aluminum, gallium, bismuth, iron, tin, etc. Precipitation in the presence of electrolyte. Ionic compounds are usually precipitated in the presence of an electrolyte. Colloidal particle of silver chloride growing in a solution containing excess silver, hydrogen and nitrate. The particle has a net positive charge because of adsorbed silver ions. It has a net negative charge because the particles attract anions and repels cations. Inclusion is a Crystallographic defects. In this defect, impurities occupy the, the lattice site in crystal structure. It has the same charge and same size, similar to those of one of, of the ions that belongs to the product. Occlusions. Impurities physically entrap inside the rapidly growing crystal. Uh, Adsorb and Occluded and included impurities are said to be co-precipitated. That is, the impurity is precipitated along with the desired products. 
even though the solubility of the impurity has not been exceeded. Here, C is cation, A is anion, M is the impurity. If chemically adsorbed inclusion or physically adsorbed occlusion in, in B, this is occlusion of supernatant solution. In C, surface adsorption of excess C, that is cations. A trace component is intentionally isolated by co-precipitation with a major component of the solution. The precipitate used to collect the trace component is said to be a gathering agent and the process is known as gathering. Some impurities can be treated with masking agent to prevent them from reacting with the precipitant. For example, for example, calcium is precipitated out with chlorophenyl cinnamohydroxamic acid and manganese which is impurity in this reaction is masked with potassium cyanide. Even when a precipitate forms in a pure state, impurities might collect on the product while in, while in standing in the mother liquor. This is known as post precipitation. If electrolyte is washed away with water, the charged solid particles repel one another and the product breaks up. This breaking up known as peptization. For example, silver chloride will peptize if washed with water, so it is washed with dilute nitric acid. Product composition. The final product must have a known stable composition. Hygroscopic substance is one that picks up water from air and it's, it is therefore difficult to weigh accurately. Ignition is used to change the chemical form of some precipitates. Thermogrammetric analysis, a substance is heated and its mass is measured as a function of temperature. Here you can see the composition of products depends on, on the temperature and duration of heating. Here that is the thermogrammetric curve for calcium cellulose rate. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Take care. Allah Hafiz.